Hello my bookish friends out there in booktube land, this is a really exciting uh, video announcement because today, February the 1st, marks the beginning of Febrigency. That is a month-long read-along open to all based around the Regency period, the long Regency period, which is 1795 to 1837 approximately. And what happens in Febrigency, there's a book selected by some co-hosts to be read by everybody, and that can be discussed and will be discussed at the end of the month, but then also some prompts to help you get immersed in that period of Regency Britain. It was such, it's not just Jane Austen, it was such a, um, a changing age. You had just had the French Revolution, it was still ongoing actually at the beginning, um, you had the Napoleonic Wars, but more than that, society was visibly changing. You know, the old institutions of the the church were that were breaking a bit to the evangelical movements. You had the upward movement or the mobile movement of society. Stage coaches are being used more and more. People are traveling. There's so much going on. And so, Febrigency, this is the third iteration of it, the third year it's happened. Febrigency has been really enjoyed by thousands now, so far, as opening their eyes to a whole world. And so, what's going to happen? It's going to be hosted by four, um, four hosts. Of course, number one in that is Emma from Bookish Princess. I'll put all the links below. Um, she originally came up with Febrigency and has kept it going. Then there's Christy from Dostoevsky in Space. There's Stephanie from Ms. Richards Reads. And then there's yours truly coming in fourth place. And um, what we're going to be reading as a definite book, the book that the month is going to be built around, is Belinda by Mariah Edgeworth. Now, Mariah Edgeworth um, was a super popular author in her day. Uh, Jane Austen liked Mariah Edgeworth's works. And it is a different flavour of reading. Um, it is somewhat more protracted than your normal book, um, but still a very interesting story. Um, and it gives you insight into day-to-day -day life in the Regency period. So that is really good to read. Mariah Edgeworth, an extraordinarily popular writer in her day, um, just overshadowed now by Jane Austen, of course. But there are some other prompts to go along and that will help you um, really immerse yourself in the Regency. So let me just read you the prompts that you can choose to go along with. So on top of reading Belinda by Mariah Edgeworth. That's the one you'll want to read for definite. Um, Christie has given us the prompt. Read historical fiction set during the Regency period. Now that doesn't mean written in the Regency period, just anything set in the Regency period. So I believe, was it uh, Emma, I think she mentioned, or was it Christie mentioned, um, the Hornblower series, Horatio Hornblower. Fabulous BBC adaptation of that with um, uh, Gr R Griffith Reese. I can't remember his name now. Um, but the book's absolutely amazing. Um, C.M. Forster, isn't it? Hornblower. Also, Georgia Eyre. You know, she is really, really becoming recognised a, a resurgence of Georgia Eyre's work. Black Sheep is a particularly fabulous work by her, actually considered by Harold Bloom to be in the canon. Um, but there's also others. For instance, if you like Bernard Cornwell and Sharp, of course, all of Sharp is set in the Regency period, but there's another book by Bernard Cornwell that I love called Gallows Thief, and that is set in 1817, sort of smack in the middle of the Regency. And that is a phenomenal book. It details a soldier who's come back from Waterloo, he's got no money, and he's employed to investigate whether a criminal who is going to be hung is actually guilty of the crime. And it's a race against the clock. So that's Gallows Thief, set in the Regency. Other prompts. Um, Stephanie's is just read a new to you Regency author. There are a lot of Regency authors. Um, and there are a lot that were enjoyed back then as well. Uh, so get yourself a bit, you know, what's the word, gend up on some of those. Just type it into Google, Regency authors or forgotten Regency authors, and pick a book that sounds good to you. Then there's Emma's prompt, which is read a book from the Regency era that involves a naval journey or travel by sea. Um, now, of course, sea was the big thing in the Regency. Britain, of course, you know, ruler of the waves, as they called themselves. The sea was, you know, the, the biggest 
invention, the dominance of the trade lanes, the biggest invention of history, really, up to that point. It's basically the internet of today. But there's a lot of books written about that. I've just mentioned, haven't I, um, Hornblower. So that's all set at sea, actually set or based roughly, very hazily, on the rise of Lord Admiral Horatio Nelson, would you believe, who started as the son of a vicar and became the Admiral of the Great British Fleet. Um, Hornblower is a whole series that takes you there. So that would be an example, but you can look up plenty to do that. The age of the great sail ships is pretty much around the Regency period. And then my personal um, prompt, which isn't about reading, it's just to get you into the life of the Regency, is learn a Regency pastime, like actually engage in a Regency pastime or have an evening with friends playing Regency games. Now you can look up these, of course, Whist was one, PK. PK is a really popular game. There's plenty of gambling games. They're always gambling, aren't they, in the, in, in the Regency period books. Um, that was a very well accepted thing, but there are others. There are others. There's, there's one I will engage in and hopefully make a video for you uh, at the end of the month, which is a peculiarly, peculiarly British pastime, but has been adopted by the whole world. Um, and it sort of got a bit of a start in the Regency period, although it became much more popular later. But anyway, look up some pastimes, look up some games, and involve yourself in them and see what you think. Even dress up as Regency people. Um, if you can get the outfit and it suits you. So, there's there's the uh, Febrigency layout. There will be some other things coming up. There will be a group discussion open to anyone who wants to join about Belinda at the end of the month. I think that's around the 24th of February. And that will be held on um, Emma from Bookish Princess. She will host that on, is it Google Meets? Now, if you've never done that before, I've been told you just have to send an email to Emma and she'll give you the link to get into that. So all the details will be down below um, in the description. So please join in. Do you know what? You will thoroughly enjoy doing this. You're going to take yourself for a month and just live a different time period you know, by reading, and if you engage in the activities, it will slow down your life from this hectic, you know, constantly hamster wheel turning world. So uh, I hope that you join us. Let me know if you're going to try and which, one, which uh, prompts sound good to you. And until the next time I see you, I wish you joy in whatever you read and whatever pastimes you engage in.